there and thanks for joining me today. Today I'm doing a review on a house article that I had read and actually saved me writing a blog. So it's basically going over renovations. They surveyed 120,000 people from 2015 and 2016 homeowners about renovations, you know, what they renovated, how much they spent, uh, lots of other great information. I'm going to just do a quick overview with you because I think it's really important because I find that the most thing that people actually don't realize is how much renovations cost. And that can lead to, you know, problems down the line if you haven't saved enough, budgeted enough. Uh, so I think it's really great to always educate people and uh, let you know what that costs are involved. So here we go. So this is an article from House. I'm going to link to it later so you can read through the whole thing. But I just want to start off that basically uh, the high renovation costs, okay, are usually uh, pretty surprising for most homeowners. And the reason for that is because you just don't know what things cost. Like, and, and I get it. Like, I mean, to actually know what is the actual kitchen renovation cost? What does the master bathroom renovation cost? Like the own suite? Or, hey, I want to redo my living room. You know, how much is that going to cost me to get all new furniture? And you know what? People just don't know, right? So again, we're watching these shows, we're looking at magazines, and we just don't really put it all together and think about it. So this is pretty huge. So just so you know, in terms of budget, so they're just saying that a third of people didn't actually set a budget, a third of people did stay on budget, and about another third of people did exceed their budget. And then they had 3% that came in below budget. Good for you guys. <laughs> That's kind of hard to do a lot of times. Um, and again, just want to touch on that, like with a myth, like if you tell the contractor, like, hey, I have $50,000 for this reno, the contractor's going to max it out and that's what they're going to spend, or the designer's going to spend that on the decor. It's not the case, it's just that we need to know, you know, what kind of finishes are we putting in, where are we sourcing for products, you know, because the, you know, because if you want some really nice stuff, it's obviously going to be a little bit more expensive. <laughs> the reason why um, people did go upscale okay so we touched on it already you have more expensive taste than what you may have originally thought uh, sometimes a project is more complex than what you actually think so when you look at um, you know something here and you realize that you know it was more um, complex sorry I'm getting used to my new little zoom it <laughs> app there so yeah so maybe we want to take out a wall in between the kitchen and the living room or kitchen and dining room and inside that wall is everything, you know, the plumbing and the HVAC, I've done that before, you know, so now that adds on a few thousand dollars to what it actually was beforehand, or maybe you need an LVL beam because if you want to rip out the wall and so the house doesn't fall down, we've, we've got to take precautions to make sure that that doesn't happen to you. So uh, the other thing is, is that sometimes people decide to change uh, their service or hire new service providers. Now this usually happens when you haven't done your research, you haven't checked out, you know, gotten referrals, it hasn't been someone that, you know, maybe you check, you didn't have a lot of reviews or, you know, you really need to do your homework because I have had clients who contact me after the fact and it's so disheartening to hear, you know, that things went wrong, that somebody just downed tools and they walked off the job and, you know, or you just weren't happy with the service that they were providing, the work that they were doing wasn't, you know, was a bit shoddy or, you know, so that can also delay things and then in turn, uh, cost your project a little bit more as well. So that is something to be aware of. They're saying that the average person spent about $60,000 on a renovation project, but again, or projects, so maybe that's the kitchen and a bathroom, or maybe that's um, you know, a living room and an ensuite. Uh, you know, but again, that's a real guideline. I mean, we're all spending different amounts of money depending on where you live and um, you know what it is that you're actually doing. So the main focus a lot of times are on kitchens and bathrooms, of course, because that is what we know is going to get us the most out of resale. Obviously, we want to get a return on our investment, so you can see there that the guest bathroom or other bathrooms and kitchen are two of the main ones to be done. And I mean, let's face it, we all love a beautiful, bright kitchen. That's where we hang out when we entertain. That's the place that we want to love. So that is usually the biggest projects that we do. So I just wanted to scooch down to this stat here because this is really important. It's the average length of time, okay? We're not HGTV. That's not real. Um, you know, you see these shows and, you know, in half an hour they're done, an app, you know, an hour show, and it, they make it look like it's happened pretty quickly. But the fact of the matter is that sometimes we need to get permits. Sometimes, you know, for electrical, for plumbing, city permits, approvals, those things take time. They cost a little bit more money as well, which again, people don't budget for. 
and you know or maybe things are on back order maybe you've ordered this beautiful tile and it's on back order for three weeks you know that's why a lot of times contractors don't like to start the job until everything is in um, you know so a good average length of time now don't let these numbers scare you because this is actually including the planning process as well which I'm really pleased about so this is talking about um, you know a kitchen to take five months here we've got um, a bathroom master bathroom they're saying to take you know just over three months and yeah you guys you gotta think you know I mean you've got the it's the planning that's involved so for my step my people come and see me I do a consultation sorry I go and see them I do a consultation then if they need me to do a full plan I need to either come back and measure if it's the main floor or basement or I will measure the you know a bedroom while I'm there or a living room if I can um, you know and then you know then we go away and we do the plans because we kind of do homework we got to ask you about what you like what are your needs what's the function for the space what kind of palettes do you like um, the colors that sort of thing and you know in order to be able for me to do my job right I need to be able to do some research and that involves gathering information from you so I can figure out exactly what it is that you want so that is a big planning pro part of the part of the planning process sorry and it's really important that you get it done right and I say to people you know what don't you know I say to people you know if you want to wait a little bit longer you're gonna get it done right you know when I have clients and I hear like I need something tomorrow I the contractor needs it next week and I haven't picked this out it just really stresses me out and I feel sorry for you know those homeowners because it just means that they're probably gonna make rush decisions there's gonna be something that goes wrong that they don't love because it wasn't thought out properly so please please planning is key it's really really important so another main huge thing is location so I thought this stat was pretty interesting wasn't surprising to me at all so for those who are 25 to 34 years old you're not seeing as many of those um, people renovating their homes and why not probably because I start off with a condo or a townhouse you know all that they could afford you know when we first started buying a house and got onto the housing market here we're in the 45 percent range from 35 to 54 year olds baby boomers as well you know 55 year olds they're all renovating their homes choosing to love it rather than list it and I find this because you establish roots now maybe there's kids that are involved um, you know when I moved here I thought I was gonna be here for just a couple of years I want a bigger house I want to be closer to a lake shore well you know what a I didn't realize how much it all cost myself right and secondly um, you know now my kids are older my kids are 9 and 12 and they you know they've they've established roots here and so have we we've got great neighbors we've got great friends people that we can trust in the neighborhood and you know it it's huge so a lot of people are definitely staying okay so outdated finishes okay that really is one of the number one reasons inadequate appliances is number three there so yeah so outdated design you know maybe it doesn't function as good as what it can do what we can do today outdated finishes you know you look at your kitchen you knew that it was done in 1990 or 1995 or whenever it was and as we're kind of coming away from all of the oak and the wood and we're looking at white bright kitchens and we're colored kitchens and just the function again has just come such a long way the storage and what we can do with items and pull outs and you know a lot of great things are happening so it's really important that you think that you basically plan 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 hey don't rush it you wave this long you want to get it right uh, secondly you want to budget properly so in order to budget you need to get onto places like house you know hire me or hire a design pro we can help to give you ideas of what things are going to cost based on what you're looking for and just be aware that you know what uh, you know you're you're probably gonna want to have a little bit left over for those extra things to decorate okay because when you love where you live you live a better life okay I totally believe it uh, I'm linking to a couple things again the article from house you can link to uh, it's gonna be here as well as this room here you can see what it costs me from start to finish what costs the client story and my services included okay so I give it all away it's the naked truth so uh, subscribe to my channel every Wednesday. I'm going to be here. I'm trying to offer you some helpful hints to get you through your renovation and decorating projects. All right, see you guys.